What up, guys? Welcome to this moving edition of Convos from the Whip, where I teach you all things focused, fit, and disciplined so that you can live your life unapologetically healthy and get exactly what you want. I'm your host today. It's Sean. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much. I'm not going to keep you long today because I am moving, 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 making my way around the way, all over the place. But I wanted to do this video because this is the only time I would do it before it got dark and so I'm driving. So forgive me if I don't look at the camera the entire time. I'm going to talk about something that I 100% believe, 100% believe should be eliminated from our vocabulary and that is the word I can't let's get into it guys I teach this to my grown women clients as well as my kids who I teach and coach every day the phrase cannot has to be eliminated from our vocabulary if we want to have the success and the victory and the wins that we say we want when we say i can't we are automatically closing the door to every single opportunity that is possible to us we are giving ourselves permission to be mediocre when you say i can't how many times do you have you said it and then minutes later hours later days later whatever the case you end up doing that very thing that you said you couldn't do. And how many times did you want to kick yourself in the butt because a day ago, a day ago, two days ago, minutes ago, hours ago, days ago, you could have done it back then had you not closed the door on the opportunity of the possibility that you might be able to get what you said you wanted until you said you could. I am just here to tell you guys today that the word I can't is keeping you in bondage. It is keeping you locked up. It is keeping you omitted from every single opportunity that you desire. So how can you eliminate the phrase I can't? I'm going to give you a couple ways to eliminate I can't from your vocabulary and your thoughts and your doing and your being first way instead of saying I can't how about saying it's a challenge and I'll figure it out it's a challenge and I'll figure it out when you say it's a challenge you are acknowledging that you may not be well versed in whatever it is that you want whatever it is that, that you're trying to do or it's that you're facing but as soon as you say I, I'm challenged in it versus I can't you open the door to the opportunity that the challenge is worth taking the risk and doing take the chance on you by considering a challenge challenge yourself to doing greater to, so that you can have greater and then number two guys instead of saying I can't think about the opportunities and the possibilities of what you can do and see how many different ways you can do it even if it's outlandish even if it is completely out of your wheelhouse Think of all the possibilities of how you can do something, how you can have something, and see how far that takes you. Then I'm going to give you a bonus. I'm going to give you a bonus. Instead of saying, I can't, just do it. Look at the challenge in front of you. Look at that thing in front of you. Look at that person in front of you, and just do it. Whatever it is that you want, just do it. Nike had it right a long time ago. Just do it. It's not difficult, guys. It's not difficult at all. I'm going to end this 
video today. I'm going to end this episode of Convos from the Whip because it's real easy to just do it, guys. It's more of a challenge to say I can't and then come back and then figure out that you actually can. So give yourself a chance. It's always worth it. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Combos from the Whip. I hope you have an amazing day, and I hope that you started your day with gratefulness. I hope that you end your day with gratefulness. And I hope that you work your day with greatness because you are great, and you deserve the absolute best. Love and hugs, guys. Be focused and fit. Discipline your day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Love and hugs, guys. Later.